Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I drew this bird on a branch using colored pencils. I drew this on Legion Rising Museum mount board using several different brands of pencils. I've got Prismacolor, Polychromos, Derwent Lightfast, Luminance, and also some Holbein pencils in here. And to get started, I am just working on his eye and beak and just trying to get everything blocked in. I always start working on the eye and the beak when I'm drawing a bird. I just want to make sure I get those right because if I mess up on the eye and the beak, then I'm probably going to want to start over. So work very carefully getting started just to make sure I'm happy with that area. Most of the rest of the bird can be fixed later, but the eye especially, you want to make sure you've got that right. It just establishes all the proportions and just beginning to lightly block in the rest of his head. I was using lots of dark indigo blues. I think almost every brand of pencil has a dark indigo and that's what you can see me using in the shadows. I was also using the deep blue from uh, Dermot Lightfast, you can see there. And those oranges and yellows, those are Naples yellow and yellow ochre from Prismacolor and Polychromos. Blending this all out with solvent just to soften everything. And then I come back through and add another layer of pencil. One of the things I like to do when I'm drawing birds, rather than try to draw in each individual feather, I just want to give the impression of feathers. And so that's what you can see me doing there. I'll add a few little details to try to again make that impression of I've got feathers going on there but for the most part it's just going to be the shadows and the highlights that create that look. Starting here on the next section I'm going to be working in the same way. Saw me add a layer of white underneath there to begin with that way when I come over with solvent I can bring back any highlights that I want. That white Prismacolor pencil is really nice and waxy and sticks really well on top of the other colors. But really just blending back and forth is the key. Next you can see me blocking in his wing feathers and what I was trying to achieve here was just some really nice crisp edges. I wanted a, a big distinction between all of these feathers on here and so I indented the paper with my white pencil and you can see how that really popped out when I came over with color. I just blended in lots of different colors. I ended up bringing this back closer to just blue, but you see some purple in there and some more muted blues. Ultimately, I didn't love the look of the purple, so I came back over and muted that out some. But again, just really emphasizing those straight, crisp lines, using lots of my sharp pencils to do that. There's a slice tool in there that I was using to get some fine details. And now just starting to block in the rest of his body Starting off with some ochres, I've got brown ochre and also sienna brown from Prismacolor and then bringing in some of those yellows again, the yellow ochres, Naples yellow, I had some cadmium yellow in there. Originally I was going to go with more oranges but crossed that out and decided to go with the browns. And again, same situation here. I'm just wanting to give the indication of some feathers rather than try to draw each individual feather. 
this is a learning process. Typically, I am drawing flowers on here. I've drawn a few birds in the past, so every time I draw a bird, I feel like I'm almost starting over as a beginner because there's so much time that's passed since the last bird I drew. Got some gray and white I'm mixing back and forth in his belly. I really like the Holbein grays. If you can get your hands on some of those, they're really nice and soft. This section you can see me working on now was definitely the most difficult part of the drawing. I tried to get too much detail in too small of a space, so kept working back and forth over this, trying different techniques, trying to figure out what was going to work best. And ultimately I ended up blending over with solvent and softening this up some and then coming back in and around some of the indentations I had made and ended up being pretty happy with it but that section took a, a long time put it that way finishing up with his tail feather I just wanted some really nice dark blue indigos and a little bit of patterning in there with the gray and just some finishing touches on his body before I move on to his feet and the branch. And here I'm starting to work on his feet or claws, I guess, probably claws. I again used a lot of the sharp white polychromos pencil to make some indentations in here to make it a lot easier for me to draw these and give some texture using my electric eraser to pull up some bits of color there as well and now onto the branch i really freestyled this branch i had a lot of fun with it it was very relaxing after all of the detail work that I had put into the bird. So I just really worked back and forth with lots of my grays and white pencils. I did want it to have lots of shape, lots of texture, but mainly it's just meant to be a place for the bird to rest. And once again, here is my finished drawing. If this video moved way too fast for you and you would like to learn how to draw it yourself, you can head over to my Patreon page where I have five different modules, mostly done in real time, that will show you step by step how I drew this with supply list and reference image and an outline and all those good things. So check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video here on YouTube. Bye, everybody.